What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're getting hitched. All right, so as you saw in the last episode, we now have Elizabeth running and it does move under its own power. We're not quite ready for a test drive yet, but a little more work and I think we'll be ready to. So in the meantime, I have turned my attention back to the sheet metal in the back here. Um, as you saw, we had started making the panel that runs across here. And I have mentioned previously a bit that I wanted to do a hitch. So I ended up getting a hitch, ordered it off of Amazon. It is a Kurt. Part number 13707, designed specifically for Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, and Lincoln Town Car, a couple other applications. Um, so if you had a Crown Vic, this would be a direct bolt-on. Um, obviously, I do have Crown Vic frame. However, we shortened a good probably foot or so off the back and the hitch doesn't bolt where it normally would because of that. Um, so we are having to do some modifying and figuring out where to mount this. Um, so I have done a little modifying, a little more cutting to the floor to allow the hitch to set back a bit. That way it only sticks out because the panel here comes to about here. So this part of it does stick out and I'm still trying to decide what, uh, how I want to take care of that. I may try doing the bumper, the stock bumper back on. I have debated about that. I was kind of, kind of going back and forth between just keeping the, uh, the classic look with the stock bumper or just make more of a custom look with, without a bumper. So I may try to get the bumper again in here. Um, I'm going to have to widen it, but I may still try to do that. And uh, hopefully that'll kind of cover up the hitch as well. So we've got some more modifying to doing, so let's get at it. So we got our holes drilled in the frame. So two on this side, two on the other side. And it comes with uh, carriage bolts and some thick washers that you can use. The carriage bolt just fits into the, like that. And the bolts here are easy to get to. The ones that Farther in here, you can't reach very well, and it would be even worse if you had, you know, another foot of frame rail there. So what they supply you with is this wire that you simply thread onto the end of the bolt like that. Actually, you stick it through the wire through the frame first. Uh, let me get you closer here and I'll show you. Alright, so what you do is stick it up through the hole. Make sure you guys can see it. I can't very well see the hole. Anyway, stick it up through the hole and push it and push it out the end of the frame rail here like that. And then thread your bolt on. And then 
pull on your wire. On your wire, it gets this far. Then just pull your bolt down, just like that. Pretty slick. All right, so we finished getting the hitch all bolted up. Dark outside right now. Got the cornet outside. Turn the light in here, show you guys the hitch. It's kind of dark out here, but as you can see, we got the hitch bolted up. It actually wasn't bad. Um, we ended up using the spacers in here and angled it a little bit, and then got the bolts in there. And see, got it all bolted up, so it actually worked out pretty nice. So I'm happy with it. So now I am working a bit on on the rear fenders. Um, the lower half of the rear fenders is really rough. Um, let me put my template off here. Um, it's got a bunch of Bondo in it, a bunch of rust. So I'm gonna be replacing from about here all the way to the back and then from there down. And the same thing with this front corner as well. It's really rough, so at least part of this I'll be replacing. So I finally had to get my a second box of cutoff wheels, four and a half inch cutoff wheels. Um, I have been using the Benchmark abrasive ones and it has taken about a box of 50, they come 50 in a box. And it, that's about how much it's taken so far for cutting the complete floor and most of the firewall out of the cornet cutting the body off the Crown Vic, uh, using it for cutting out all the sheet metal for rocker panels and um, inner fender wells and firewall stuff, everything else. Uh, about a box of 50 of them has about gotten that far. So I've been keeping them on, whole string of them. This isn't nearly all of them, but, but been saving a bunch of them. So yeah, so that's probably one of the number one things I use. Obviously you could use a lot of stuff you could use a plasma cutter or whatever else. I have one, I don't use it a whole lot. And um, so yeah, cut off wheels. It's one of the most common things I use for all my work, so.
right, so as you saw in the time lapses there, we got the uh, patch panel for the fender made and got it all TIG welded in. It definitely took some time. Uh, it was definitely not perfect. I definitely had some warpage in it. Um, but one nice thing about TIG welding is there's a lot less grinding to do to get it nice and smooth. So otherwise I'm happy with it how it turned out. So let's see it here. And the rear corner, obviously, we still have some more welding to do here. The metal is pretty rough, so I'll probably have to remake that, and then this will get um, bent around there to match the contour there. And then there'll be some filler pieces made that go up and connect to the um, uh, to the panel there. So, yep, still some work to do, but otherwise, pretty happy with how it's turning out here. We'll eventually come back through once this is fully welded and uh, use body filler to make a nice contour and fit this all up. So I think otherwise that's about as far as I'm going to get in this video. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode.